Hi everyone. Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel and for those of you who have subscribed to our channel, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. But those of you who hasn't subscribed to our channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now and don't forget to switch on the notification bell so that you get all the latest updates whenever we post a new video. My name is Emily. Hi, and I'm Emily Swani and uh, today we are excited about the food that we craving for a long time yeah. because Today we are having Popeye. Yes, we haven't had Popeye for, for a very, very long, long time. Why? It's because that Popeye very is not. Uh, I mean, they don't have any uh, outlets so around our our area here. Uh, I mean, do, they do, but it's rather far yeah. from our place. Yeah, exactly. So, and um, recently we just found out that they do deliver yeah, island wide. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason why we jump in mm -hmm. and ta da! Here it is. <laughs> We're so excited. Yeah. So over here we have fish burger, fish burger. and then we have the, uh, the fish, fillet, fillet. fish fillet, and then and we the have chicken. the chicken. Uh, I think kajun chicken, right? So all this is so mostly just chicken. No, this one is kajun chicken. I think oh, this is the oh, normal one. This is the one. tender, is it? Yeah, this ah, is the okay. sliced chicken, mm -hmm. and then this is the kajun chicken. kajun chicken, and then we also have the famous chicken burger. I'm so excited. And then we also have, uh, let me open the this up. mashed potato and also the. Uh, yep, yep, we have mash. And also and the. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Okay, and so. we have a secret that we hide something underneath. We have a bigger <laughs> tub of mashed potato. <laughs> Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's dig in. I'm just so totally excited. This is like. Having a child. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and have this. Wow, well, me, my always all time favorite biscuits. Okay, why I said I love this kind of biscuits is because that uh, they are very, okay, as you can see, guys, it's uh, quite moist inside and it's salty for this kind of biscuits. Yeah. Jump for my consumer! Yes, because we have this somewhere like two hours ago mm -hmm. before, so it's kind of like a bit um not say that cold lah, but if it is even um warmer than this. I would rather, I mean, the, 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 all this would be like even more tastier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have with me. Mm -hmm. And I have a normal Pepsi. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, this is huge. I always love them, mm -hmm. um, their biscuits. And also one thing is that um, their biscuits are, even though it's moist, but how do I say, mm, crumbly? Yeah, mm. flaky. Mm, flaky, yeah, flaky. Can I borrow your I heard in the US, mm -hmm. Popeye is now having a promotion for um, ghost pepper chicken. Mm. Ghost pepper fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is in Singapore. When mm. I ordered this, I don't think I saw it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, guys. Nice. Mm. It's been a long, long time. Chicken and mash. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and you know what? Um, the other fast food that I'm craving for, mm. which I don't think I can get it in Singapore anymore. Hmm. Wendy. Oh yeah. Yeah. They closed uh, the whole entire outlet in Singapore back then I think 2019, 18 I think. Can't remember. 19 I, I think. Remember. Yeah. I miss them. <laughs> Go write a love letter. <laughs> I miss Shake Shack. I mean you can you can't get halal chick shack in Singapore mm -hmm. because I used to uh, travel for travel work to, yeah. uh, to Abu Dhabi. She went to, yeah, she went yeah. to Abu Dhabi. So, um, chick shack in Abu Dhabi and Dubai is halal, so. Yeah. 
I'm gonna feel sad. No, I think mm, that's a fast food, fast food, right? I think it's no much difference from Abu Dhabi and in Singapore one. You know why? Um, my friend's um, friend, he really likes uh, Shake Shack in Singapore. Mm? Yeah. Every time their father, uh, okay, let's go to uh, what, what, fast food rest, uh, restaurant. Okay, we'll go to Shake Shack. We'll go to Shack. <laughs> and he's like, so happy about it, you know? Yeah, Shake Shack burger is, I don't know, different. Mmm. You know what? Like flavor? Or flavor texture? wise. Mmm. And it's more expensive as well. I mean, at least in, in Abu Dhabi. Oh, okay. It's much more expensive. Well, what's the difference? I mean, in, in Singapore, uh, do you know like any difference like uh, the, the price wise? Is it expensive? Also? Oh, way more expensive. I mean, like the other time, when I was in Abu Dhabi with my mom, mm -hmm. with our mom, mm -hmm. um, we had three burgers mm -hmm. with side fries, and yeah, that's it. Three burgers and mm -hmm. uh, a side fries. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it cost us about seventy dollars Singapore. What? Yeah. Crazy guys. But I mean, because of the also the the money. Is it? is it because of the money difference? No? no. I don't know about the pricing in Singapore though. <laughs> but the flavor is just different. Mm -hmm. Then I can't even compare it. If I were to compare it with McDonald's, then it's not fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just feels like you're comparing apple to orange. Huh? It feels like you're comparing <laughs> an apple to an orange because it's just so different. <laughs> I try. <laughs> yeah, I was Your thinking of the. Yeah, I know. Uh, of course, it is. It's still, it is still my favorite. But because of it's my favorite, I feel like. Can I just watch it? <laughs> not not eating it. Just watch it. <laughs> so every day he will just take one bite. Yeah. <laughs> Savoring at the best. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, maybe I try. I go for this one. I. On the other hand, it's gonna try chicken burger. Okay. I'm gonna go with a bite. Mm. If you're a fish lover, you can you can go around with this one. I think I know what's the difference with Shake Shack. It's mm -hmm. the bun. Oh. But it's not like this kind of bun because this kind of bun you can find in McDonald's, mm -hmm. right? It, it's the bun is um, a bit more buttery mm -hmm. and smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this one to compare this one and McDonald's and Burger King? Is there any difference in burger in the burger or the the patty itself? Mm. <laughs> the chicken is. <laughs> <laughs> The chicken is crispy. Mm. Mm. There's a tomato inside. Oh, really? Which is very mm. different from like um, KFC or McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Like you can find um, a, a tomato, mm. a slice of tomato in um, Zinger Burger mm. or McSpicy. Mm -hmm. Well, talking about Zinger Burger, there's this one. Uh, one that the KFC brought in um, Zynga fish burger mm. and I really really like it <laughs> but I don't know why they never bring it back it's so nice bro mm. yeah the tomato makes a lot of difference really? Mm. Mm. and the okay. sauce yeah same goes with the fish the outside is crunchy oh. and the inside the fish is still Moist and um, and flaky. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, 
I will start with my, own, my first story for the day. Today we are going to talk about. Oh, this is just tartar sauce, guys. Oh. <laughs> it's actually for your fish, but I'm gonna dip my chicken. Hey, that's not fair. That's for fish. That's for fish. <laughs> okay. Today we are talking about Sentosa. Okay, I used to go to Sentosa a lot. Yeah. Uh, this is about our experience. I go to Sentosa previously mm, for swimming. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because I think the water uh, at Sentosa beaches is a little bit a little bit more cleaner than the rest of the beaches in Singapore. Oh, is that so? I feel so. Oh. That's my Maybe it's opinion. because that they uh, they have this uh, like so called barrier. Mm. Is, it, is it because of that? I'm not sure. Here in Sentosa, you guys, if you go by, I think the the what do you call it, uh, Palawan Beach, is it? Once again, mm -hmm. okay. That's that's they, they they did this kind of like barrier. So that the waves are not really too too hard on um, coming into onto the beach. Maybe it's because of that, lah. Not too sure. Possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the story people uh, begins uh, on the night of this storyteller. So this night that this storyteller uh, having a night. I think uh, maybe it's like kind of uh, a few days nights. Uh, staycation, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, in Sentosa. Um, hey. Okay, they, they, they uh, had this uh, night uh, staycation in one of the hotels in, uh, in Sentosa. So, they heard about this uh, White House in Sentosa. Hmm. So, they, they wanted to give it uh, a visit. Okay. When they go over in, uh, in the daytime, okay, the White House is still there. Okay. So, okay. So, this White House is actually like kind of a bungalow. Hmm. So of course, it's a, uh, if it's a bungalow, it's a very big house, lah. Okay. Is it so, like one of those colonial? I think so. I think big so. Bungalows. Yeah, I think so. So uh, this uh, storyteller went into one of the room. Those and kind they, of houses really creeps me out. Yeah. <laughs> so scary. And they they like uh, they put uh, all those chairs uh, nicely into their own because it's not owned by anyone uh, anyone, right? So they put the chairs whatever that there is, lah. Into their own um, setup, mm. okay. They, which they know which part of the uh, in that room where they put the chairs. Mm. Okay, so they left, and then uh, they go back to uh, the hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when uh, at night time, uh, three other friends. Mm. Okay, they they actually they are two percent. Okay, just like uh, maybe like you and me, mm. we we go for a staycation. Okay, so three other friends join in, which mm. total of five percent. So, this five percent, okay, uh, they said, okay, let's uh, why not let's go and take a look at the White House again. Mm. And this time around is at night. Mm. Okay, but the storyteller never tell at what time it is. But he just mentioned it's at night. Okay, so what they do, maybe maybe after dinner, so they went down uh, from the hotel and they go straight to the. Uh, to the uh, White House. Mm. Okay, but the funny thing is that when they because they know where it, where the the house situated is right. So from the hotel to the house uh, to the White House, I think it's about five minutes walk. Mm. Okay, but this time round they walk for about like ten minutes. Mm. They still can't find the house. Mm. And the funny, is, but the funny thing is that they they know the route of from <laughs> where they are when the, from the hotel that they have. <clears throat> I mean they, they stay to the to the house they know, right? So that means they know the route very well. So they, they know that it's about five minutes walk. But <laughs> at night they have to walk like about ten minutes. Wow. Even at the ten minutes of walk, they still can't find the house. Did the house got lost? <laughs> ah. Or they thing. got lost. Yeah, that's the thing. Maybe something uh, like you know, like uh, cover their eyes or something like that. So they said, okay. Uh, one of them said, um, okay. Why not we go back to the where they started? Maybe you know, like it's at night, right? So maybe they they got lost or something like that. So they went back to the where the starting point. Mm. They go back again to the house. Okay, this time around, it is five minutes. But but they couldn't see the house. Within 100 meters. Hmm? Normally, okay, when even if it's at night, within 100 meters you can see because it's a huge house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but they couldn't see, find it. But within 6 meters, they seem to just 
saw the house. Huh. Within six meters. Like so how how is that? Yeah, it's just like. So that's weird, right? Yeah. Okay. So they wanted to go in. But three of, uh, sorry, three, uh, two of their friends suddenly look at uh, like a stair on one of the uh, lampposts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this story storyteller, this person that, story, uh, that, that tells the story, uh, realized that two of the friends like keep on staring at the lamppost. Okay. Okay, and that lamppost is only one of that. Uh, I mean, there's only one lamppost at that area, and it's you know because it's an old place, so the the lights is not being LED yet. Mm. It's still those orange color, uh, old color uh, color lah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, and one thing is that uh, this storyteller realized that these two friends of them of of the us just walk like. Trying to walk uh, closely, closer, I mean, closer to the lamppost. When this storyteller, like, hey, then these two, like, turn to them, to the other three friends, uh, to, to the, the, the storyteller and the, the other friends, grab them mm -hmm. and say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Without telling anything. The storyteller? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the two friends that, that saw something at the lamppost. Oh, okay. okay? They, they turn uh, towards them, to the other friends, with the, I mean, the, uh, the storytellers area, mm -hmm. and they say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. Okay, so they said, so the, the, they cancelled, uh, you know, to the, the, the trip to the uh, White House. Lah. So, they hurried back to the hotel. Mm. None of them said anything that night. They uh, not even question these two girls what's happening, or what happened, or what they, they saw. They must have seen something. Yeah. So, the next day, uh, one of, okay, the storyteller got two friends, right? Uh, I mean, got two other friends, right? So, his friend that maybe stayed in the, um, the, the first night that stayed with him, mm -hmm. uh, or with her, I'm sorry, uh, she, she, she take one of the friends that, you know, got, got two friends that, got two friends that was uh, looking at the, the lamppost, right? Mm -hmm. So, one, his friend, I mean, her friend take one friend, and the storyteller take one friend. Mm. Okay. So that's two by two, lah. Two by two. Mm. Okay. So they ask, okay, they ask, what actually happened that night? What that? What is it that you all saw? Mm. So they must have <laughs> seen something. Yeah. So uh, the this 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 girl these girls told uh, each other friends, lah, which whoever that that uh, asked them. Uh, what actually happened in that night? Mm. Okay, so basically, they are not uh, sharing. I mean, they are not uh, telling at the same time, right? So when they meet together again, they ask uh, the the storyteller ask the one that asked the other girls, right? What's going on? And you know what? It's the same story, which means it doesn't make up the story. Mm -hmm. They both of them saw the story checked out, lah. Yeah, mm. the the lamppost beside the lamppost, there's a white figure with long hair mm. calling for them. Mm. I got this bomb, bro. <laughs> calling for them, like that. Like, come, come. I got this bomb. <laughs> like that's where uh those the, the two girls are walking towards the lamppost. Oh, that's the reason why they yeah, are approaching yeah, yeah, yeah. the lamppost. Luckily, the the storyteller, the the, the one that uh, tells the story, call them. Mm. That's where they they like snap out from the uh, <clears throat> so being called. And then uh, that's where they said, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go back to the to the hotel. And you know what? These two uh, girls, I mean these two, I mean these these five uh, girls, is actually. <laughs> Is actually being followed. Oh, because they are on they are, they are on the way to the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. So these two uh, girls that saw this thing, they said, "Let's make a very um, uh, concern like uh, detour from mm -hmm. from not I mean like not not go straight back to the hotel like mm -hmm. a detour somewhere else. somewhere else." So they passed by a beach. So these five people, but only the two that knows, they are being followed. 
The two that that, that saw, saw the, the thing, oh. they they know that they are being followed because mm. so luckily they went for a detour and they walk uh, by the beach instead mm. of going straight to the hotel. And um, I'm not too sure why, but when they reach upon the beach, the footstep just gone. Maybe uh, the the ghost or the thing uh, stopped pursuing. Uh, Maybe it's a territory for another yeah, thing. Could be, could be. But luckily uh, for them, uh, there's nothing else on the beach that follows them or uh. threaten them, something mm. like that. So that uh, when they straight go back straight to the uh, hotel, uh, that's where they got calmed down and everything lah. Mm-hmm. So lucky like guys, if they, if they really just go straight, I mean, if the storyteller or the what uh, the the friend or you know like. Why? Why must we go for this tour? Just go back straight if you want to go back straight to the hotel. Yeah. Then uh, another problem, guys, because the thing will just follow back to the hotels and <laughs> step them again in their room. <laughs> I would think so, like, that. Today, think that being Asian, mm-hmm. we are aware about this kind of stuff. Lah. Yeah, yeah. I think regardless whether you're Indian, Chinese, or mm-hmm. Malay, or cook, or, or Eurasian, I think we are pretty much aware of this kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, we are not like unless if you are one of those. Um, Brats, <laughs> I would say like you know when your friends say, "Hey, let's do a detour." I don't feel good, mm-hmm. and then you say, "Hey, what's wrong? You know, yeah. this is fun." Yeah. Okay, those kind of um, brats, uh, they exist everywhere, yeah. any kind of culture. Yeah. So luckily, this uh, storyteller and their friends uh, never ask why they really need to do a detour or something like that. Uh, maybe they also send something like because uh, the storyteller saw that these two girls are going towards the lamppost. You see. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's, oh. it's pretty scary, lah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Sentosa, because just now earlier on, I did say that I used to go to Sentosa a lot. Actually, mm-hmm. I go to Sentosa a lot with Lydia. Mm-hmm. Mm. When we were younger, mm-hmm. we used to go to Sentosa a lot. <coughs> and after, <coughs> at a point of time, Hosni, mm-hmm. who is Lydia's husband right mm-hmm. now, he finished work at about sometimes quite late. I think about six plus ish or something like that. Mm-hmm. So we will wait for him to finish work at Pahlawan Beach mm. because where he work kind of it's it's kind of near mm. to Pahlawan Beach. So we will just after swimming and stuff like that. So we will just wait at Pahlawan Beach until he arrives and then we go home together. Mm-hmm. So at about seven ish. Uh, I, I I cannot I don't see anything. I mean like I'm I'm not the kind of person who sees stuff, right? So but I do sense that uh it could get super eerie mm-hmm. um as the sunset. Mm, yeah. yeah, it's just the environment. Environment, yeah. yeah. It's just the environment that gives you that creepy feeling. Mm-hmm. And also maybe because we know the history of Sentosa, mm-hmm. you know. So that's the reason why I, I felt that way, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so my story is about... <coughs> uh, this story is quite a while back, uh, mm-hmm. when the ferry service... Oh. When, when there's still ferry service in, in between... Uh, that, that ferries people from Sentosa to uh, the main island. Uh, I don't think the ferry service is available... No. anymore now mm-hmm. because uh, buses can go in mm-hmm. cars can go in taxi can go in and you can even walk across the ba- the bridge to get and to Sentosa and you guys we, we did have that feeling of getting the ferry terminal services uh, from Singapore to oh yeah we're that back then uh. <laughs> 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 yeah so this was I think around our era mm. um, he went to Sentosa with a few of his friends mm. Uh, so they spend the whole entire day at Sentosa. They, uh, I think, Sen- because Sentosa is such a small island, mm. you can do everything. I mean, um, the entertainment is not as extensive then. True. In comparison and, to now, and, and not as much as now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you can finish sightseeing within a day at yeah. Sentosa. <laughs> so after uh, after they are done, after the group is done, was done with their. Uh, activity for the Ooh, day, mm-hmm. so they left for the ferry terminal at about seven ish. Okay. So that's the reason why I, I brought up the after seven o'clock it gets ah, very creepy. Okay. Yeah. So uh, they af- 
right after they are done with the activity they mm-hmm. went to the ferry terminal and by the time that they got to the ferry terminal it's about 7 ish right mm. that's what i said and so this guy he this storyteller mm-hmm. he got uh bored of waiting for the ferry mm. because i think they were there slightly earlier and then he went to uh the sort of balcony where he can see outside mm. he can see out of the jetty mm. so he was looking out at the uh, at the water mm-hmm. and from his view he can actually see the bottom of the jetty okay so when he was looking at the water and then his gaze turned to uh, underneath the jetty mm-hmm. he actually saw a little child huh? yeah okay. a little child in white mm-hmm. standing very near to the water mm-hmm. underneath the jetty oh. so he was like hey in in his mind mm-hmm. he was like thinking there's a girl who went overboard mm-hmm. you know and then you know stay right, down there yeah, and ask mm-hmm. for help mm-hmm. So he was like, "Hey kid, what are you doing there?" Mm. And the girl just looked at him and smiled. Oh. Yeah. So the the girl was just like look at him and smiled. And he was like, "Kid, I I I ask for help. Mm-hmm. You just stay there. I'll just I I'll go ask for help." So he went to his friends and then he asked his friends, "Come, come, come, come. There's a girl underneath the jetty." Mm-hmm. So his friends all went with him mm-hmm. to look for the girl. Mm-hmm. And when they went over uh-huh. to look at uh, 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 underneath the jetty, okay. the girl is no longer there. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he went up. <laughs> it's not possible to <laughs> to just go up. I mean, like uh, we've been to the ferry terminal. It's not that easy. Not easy. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Um, the the storyteller uh, the the storyteller actually thought that um, it could be. Uh, one of the lo- lost souls mm. during Japanese occupation mm-hmm. because I think um, it's also because of the dressing of the little girl mm. she doesn't appear to be of uh, I-, I think modern days, yeah, uh, modern days la. yeah okay. exactly so uh, yeah la, so that's about the story mm. that I have I mean the history of Sentosa itself is quite sad. Yeah. For those who knows about Sentosa, uh, that is uh, where the last fort uh, being held by our troops. Mm. I mean, for our Singapore troops, be it. <coughs> I think we, we we mentioned this the, 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 uh, yeah, uh, last a video, episode. A video, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned this about uh, Singapore being. Uh, attacked by the Japanese troop mm-hmm. and uh, we, the Singapore has been uh, hold up uh, the fort by the Australian army by British the army. British army the Indian. by the Indians and by the Malay or uh, Malayan uh, Malay, Brigade. Malay Brigade so it's a it's a it's a very fierce uh, battle whereby mm-hmm. a lot of souls uh, sorry a lot of people have been uh, killed even uh, even the army itself yeah. from my understanding um, Sentosa used to be Kampung. Yeah, yeah, there's a kampung there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Used to they they used to have kampung houses there, yeah. and yeah, I mean like villages um, were there, and people used to live there, and they were being attacked, and yeah, I'm I'm sure there's a lot of people who lost their lives back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's it for this week. That's a, that's all the stories that we have for you this week. And uh, we will finish... I mean, we'll just left we just have a lot. Uh, like a fish, and biscuits, a biscuit. chicken, and kajun. Okay, that's it for this episode. And uh, we'll finish, we'll finish whatever, whatever that we, we have. have. And uh, don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to uh, press the like button as well. And don't forget to comment. Comment, comment, comment. As always. Uh, don't forget to share this video with everyone you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see you again next week. Bye! Assalamualaikum! <laughs>